sorry, you were just telling me this is actually steam powered. It's steam powered. Fantastic. You did the Cheddar Models puffing unit many years ago. And I get about 25 minutes out of, out of it. Then I run out of water. So I sail it for about 23 minutes and bring it in. I bet you need a rest after that, don't you? Almost. <laughs> It's been very awkward lately. The burner keeps going out and all sorts of things. It used to be Mr. Reliable. Oh. So I don't know why. Something's changed. Some, I don't know what. Nothing's changed. Oh. I can't figure it out. Was this part of the fun, solving the problems as we go along with Sometimes. these models, isn't it? Sometimes. Sometimes. So how long, the viewers will want to know, how long does it take to make something like this? I would say something like that's about two years. Two years, About yeah. that sort of time frame. I made it. It's about 30 years old, so I can't really remember. So that's when you started the project? Yeah. It was electric, and about uh, oh, 25 okay. years ago, I converted it to steam. So why do that? What would be, what's the inspiration from what some people would think would be going backwards in technology? It's more authentic, I guess, you think? That's exactly, it's yeah. more authentic, and it was because of the Victorian colours. Yes. It, kind of crying out for a steam plant. Yeah. So I had to give it a go. So I got out my trusty Barclay card and paid, <laughs> I think it was about £450 okay. for the models. Yeah. Um, you can buy the same plant now from uh, another manufacturer and it's around about £1,200. Wow. Because prices have just gone up and time and distance. Yeah, of course. On a good day, as you probably saw the gun turrets rotate. Yes, I saw that, yes. And the guns fire. Okay, I, I think I've seen charges. that, I might have seen that previously at Wings and Wheels or somewhere yes. like that, yeah. Yeah, I have been at Wings and Wheels with this and the guns were fine. But I, I tend not to now because I used to use black powder and that's frowned upon. Oh, is it? Mm. Oh. And the sound of gunfire over a park is Mice. very different today than it was 30 years yeah. ago. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I've developed a completely different system using fog fluid. Okay. Which I'm thinking about trying to retrofit. Okay. So with fog fluid, I could get about 140 shots. That's what you're always thinking, is it? How to add that little bit more realism to a, to a scale ship like exactly. that? On my Iron Duke model, that uses fog fluid, and I can get, with five turrets, 350 shots in a I've second. definitely seen the Iron Duke. You have, yeah. yeah. And yeah, Invincible's yeah. the same. Yeah. And I'm wondering whether I've got enough weight to retrofit that. But it's just such a better system. Yeah, that do does work the, well. The way I used to do it years ago with the black power was totally safe. I'd figured out how to do it. But that's not the point. No. Life in the world moves on, so you just can't do what you used to do. No, sure. And I would get four shots, but if I had that on the Iron Duke system, I would get 140. Uh, I would get uh, 70, 140 shots yeah. rather than four. I know, yeah. Which is great entertainment for people when they're watching, isn't it? Exactly. The best bit of all with the fog fluid system is it's totally safe and everything else. And you sail a battleship up and mum goes, look, there's a navy, there's an army boat. It's not an army boat, it's a navy <laughs> boat. Yeah. Look, look, the guns are turning to shoot you through a little boy. And then they go, woof. And everybody loves it. Yeah, yeah of course jump. they do. Of course they do. They just jump. Yeah. It's just a bit of fun. You know, I've been filming you these last few years and I don't know your name. Uh, Jeff. 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 Thanks very much. Pleasure.